This video tutorial will demonstrate how to use the most common features in Empire Time. In this video, we will demonstrate how to add a time row, modify a time row, delete a time row, submit and approve a timesheet, correct an approved timesheet, and set up timesheet options. Let's begin. First, log into your account. Go to the Time main menu. To add a timesheet row, click Add Row. This will allow you to add a time entry and associated information to your timesheet so you can begin tracking time spent on a specific project. Let's begin by filling in the time row information. Select a project from the commonly used project smart list or type in the project name. Input where you did your work or select from the list of predefined locations. Under Rate Class, specify whether the hours entered are billable, regular, billable overtime, or non-billable. Next, input your hours. Input the hours you worked each day. Click Add New to save your data, or click Clear to discard your data. Now review your entry. A new row has been added to your timesheet. You can add or edit hours within the row, or click the client name to add or edit the row in the time panel. To modify a time entry, click the desired client name. Now view the client project in the Modify Time panel on the right-hand side. Edit Task, Location, Rate Class, Daily Time Hours, or Comment. Click Modify to save changes. You can also change the time entry hours directly in the cells within the timesheet itself. Now click Save. Next, I'll show you how to approve and submit a timesheet. Click Approve to approve all entries in the current timesheet. If the user only has submit permissions, the link will say submit, and the time status is updated to show status awaiting approval. If the user has status to approve their own timesheet, the link will say approve, and the time status is updated to show status approved. Next, correct a row. Click on the correction icon. Make your corrections using the in-cell editing. Then click Save. Note that your status has changed to active and the correction level has been updated. In a corrected timesheet, you can also delete and add new rows. To delete a row, check the specific row and click the Delete icon. To modify a row, make your corrections and then click Save. To add a row, click the Add Row icon. Once you complete your edits, click Save, and if you are complete, then submit or approve your timesheet again. You can also customize your timesheet settings. Click on the Setup widget to open the Setup Options panel. There are many timesheet configuration options in the setup panel, including setting up your mobile device. Change your options, and then click on the Save button to save your new options. This concludes the tutorial on how to use Empire Time.